It's fine and safe to say compliments of the season. Now, this is because we are in the last month of the year, and boy, oh boy, uh, God in his infinite mercies has been able to keep us alive up until now. So, yes, a couple of new days to go to the new year, and all our aspirations are still very much valid. Welcome. This is All Sports. My name is Babaji De Guerrero, and there's a huge smile on my face because I got one guy who is coming back from a long break. You can see how, how many O's are in my lung. And then I got another guy who is part of the um, furniture these days. Let me start with the furniture guy. Dario Guns, how are you? I'm fine. Consistency um, brings about improvement. Yeah. And what can you say of my consistency? Yes, absolutely. Compared to a man. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, speaking about consistency, one of, one of them, like I said, Dario, being consistent is, should I call him the Maldini? And this other guy has been the Maldini. And then yeah. maybe he went somewhere else, you know, to just get some other things done, set some things, and then come back. We call him Baba Floyd. Uh, he's the daddy of Floyd. <laughs> Hey, you know, it's been again, my man. Oh, it's good to be back. Good morning, Baba Jide. Yeah, yeah. I think I need to give you an answer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. really, really. I just, it's yeah, good to very be good, back. very but good. Then I took you, paternity leave. I Absolutely. told you I was going to yeah. take, you know. Yeah. I just had his son, yeah, so break. I had to I had to take a break and spend time with my son. Absolutely, so, absolutely. It's good to be back. It's yeah. very good to be back. Yeah, it does. I mean, of course, uh, special shout out to Floyd. Floyd Igbinige, that's the, uh, is what now? Um, th five four, months? Four months. Four, four months, months, yeah, four months. Four months there. So, yeah, big up, son. Of course, we are all chanting for you. You're going to be great than your father no doubt yeah so let's talk right into its greatness the mother of all football leagues the uefa champions league mm -hmm. i came into this particular week and then we saw the final games in the match day um some very very interesting results um you know let me start with you we saw it we didn't expect ajax a team that got to the what now semi-finals uh, last year <laughs> yeah. to crash out like yeah. this like a pack of card was very, was very shocking though and you know you know the the, the, the saddest part for me was about the Ajax was the Frankie Dijon's reaction against yeah. uh, the Barcelona Inter's match you know okay. Dijon was so sad and I was like wow that's that yeah. really that really that really got to me it mm. shows you the emotion in, in, in the game mm. shows you so much but like you said we didn't expect the result mm. it was shocking you know Inter Inter I, I, like we didn't expect that Inter would crash out I didn't Same expect yet. that though Absolutely. a lot of people didn't expect that you know for when that. We saw that Barcelona lineup. You, we thought it was going to be. Yeah, easy. yeah, yeah. You know, it just it just shows you that football you can't predict football these mm. days anymore. Yeah. Because yeah, we said the Barcelona squad didn't look that tight, mm. but then Inter Milan they lost. It wasn't when they draw yeah. to that Barcelona squad. So you know, congrats to everybody that, mm. that has progressed. But yeah. like we said, Ajax. Um, I really, I really. Well, you know, these things happen. In it football. happens in football. Very it happens true. in football. Because most of the big guys, you know, they were not really shockers. If mm -hmm. you look honest, the big guys went through Atletico, Juventus, Bayern Munich, mm -hmm. Barcelona, mm -hmm. Real Madrid. So no, to me, not really much shocker. My United. Oh, sorry, no my United. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and the Lucho, Lucho and Lukaku jab. Yeah, exactly. You know, Lucha, you know exactly. Lukaku. Yeah. You know, yeah. <laughs> United fans were really laughing at Lukaku yeah. that day, you know, yeah, because was Lukaku funny. was making fun of yeah. United. That, yeah. Okay, back to you, see your heart. And then look show, sure, and then look look show. Sure, the game finished. Look show sure just finished. Sure welcome, they said, welcome, welcome back. back. <laughs> but let me come to you, Darry. I was stood up for you in the week. I mean, we saw okay, um, Jurgen Klopp mm -hmm. drop um, a number of players mm -hmm. uh, against um, yeah. Bournemouth. Okay. Yes, during the during, during the Premier League, just so that he can have fresher legs mm -hmm. for the game against us, but it looked as if it was a good decision. Absolutely, and it paid off. Um, particularly with a fantastic goal scored mm -hmm. by a certain Mohamed Salah. Yeah. Um, but for me, the outstanding team of the group stage has to be Atlanta, a team that's appearing for the first time in more than twelve years, mm -hmm. and they give a good account of themselves. Never picked. Um, if I lost their first three games, could manage to pick one point in their first four, and the last two games was just a turnaround for them. Mm -hmm. And even in the last game when they have to go to Gunk, um, they were able. So where they were, when they Went away to Shakhtar Donetsk. Mm. They were able to do yeah, the business. That place is so hard. It's so difficult. To Absolutely. Win. Yeah. Like, that Ukraine. was that was impressive. Yeah, I forgot to mention that was impressive. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Very yeah it was impressive. And they won three goes to nothing away mm. from home. And even when you have an Inter Milan in quotes a big team from the Italian Serie A, they couldn't even make it Absolutely. on the final day um, of the qualifier. Yeah, so we're looking forward to what is going to be the second and an interesting round of sixteen, if you ask me, because this is the first time ever in the history of the UEFA Champions League where um, the 16 teams, all of them are from the big five leagues in Europe. And there are no other teams from any other part, but just those big five. That just tells you how very strong and very interesting. And interestingly, um, the goal Luka Modric scored was the 327th goal of this year's UEFA Champions League group phase. That's the largest number of goals scored. That's the highest number of goals scored in the history of the group phase, group phase yeah, the of Champions the UEFA Champions, Champions League. League. And Kylian Mbappe right getting yeah. his 100th career goal as well. Let's talk about World collecting World. now. This man, congratulations to him, by the way, because this is the first show we're having uh, since he collected his belt back from 
um, he has he usurped the usurper in Andy Ruiz. Step forward, Anthony Joshua. Congratulations to him. I mean, we all saw that fight um, on different social media platforms. Some of us watched it in the marine world. Some of us <laughs> watched it asleep. Some of us watched it on the internet. But the yeah, bottom line, yeah. Anthony Joshua has won. And Anthony Joshua Dari is saying that, hey, there is a likelihood I come to fight here in Nigeria, although it's looking very, very improbable. But the fact that he thought about it, yeah. Dari, means that for all his words, he's actually closer to his roots than many thoughts. Um, it's shown very well that um, he can relate with us in this part of the world. Mm. Um, when he lost his belt, one would have thought that it would even be more hidden, um, but came back to Nigeria and showed some sort of solidarity as well as some um, oneness with us in this part of the world. But I wouldn't say that. I think it's beyond him. I mean, at the end of this world, we prefer to take it once again to Saudi Arabia, particularly with the money involved. We are talking about $85 million being made the last time out. Um, which part of Africa can cough that out um, to see a fight, to see a man in the ring, in, in, in the mode of Anthony Joshua? Yeah. Um, apart from the, um, the patriotism. Can cough it out. <laughs> 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 so, congrats to Joshua. But, yeah. you know, the, mo the funniest part about this was the reactions mm. I got on social media. And when Joshua won, everybody was happy. Then the guy wrote that now that Joshua has won, is this still from Shagamu? Because <laughs> when he lost, you said Joshua from Nigeria, Nigeria. Shagamu. Now that he has won, that he's seen UK, UK. Yeah, now, like, yeah, all of a sudden, <laughs> you know, the yeah, rhetoric you know Yeah, and yeah, you, know, yeah, yeah. you know, you know, Joshua really, really, really like associates a lot with his roots. You know, yeah. I'm, I'm really proud about that yeah. the way he does it. But like, like you said, it's not really up to Joshua. You know, mm -hmm. let's let's not lie about it. True. We don't have the infrastructure. We don't have him with the economical structure True. you know that who can who can pay 200 pounds for a list ticket to not watch yeah. match yeah. so True. It's, it's, it's it's let's just say we're just being real like That's like we say it in south south nayans be that nayans. Nayans. okay nayans be that. We, we, we just being real but anyways um one thing that is very very uh, most likely sure is the fact that uh, joshua will be defending his titles you know um in 2020 and of course uh maybe just maybe we may get to see that why that Joshua fight. We need to see that fight. I don't think we'll be realistic. We need to in see that fight. You know no, no, I that's mean, what w I'm saying. I said 2021. WBO, um, 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 and WBO are looking at Alexandra Isik. IBF are looking to give him um, what's the name of the Kubra Pulev as mm. a mandatory challenge. If he's getting to fight these two boxers in yeah, that's why I said 2021. 20, yeah, it won't be yeah. It won't be realistic. So, so most likely it could be 2021, mm -hmm. but again, uh, if, you, if you don't see it in 2020, I don't think it's needed to see it anymore. Because what? fairly, Dante Wada will be 33. Yeah. Or 34. Um, Anthony Joshua will be 29. It will just be another Manny Pacquiao, yeah, yeah, um, yeah, Floyd yeah, Mayweather, yeah. <laughs> two yeah, very already on the other sides of the audience, and then he just wanted yeah, one more cash yeah, out. Joshua, Joshua, Joshua will finish him. Yeah, yeah. mostly yeah, everybody Joshua saying that, that actually. Nah, because, Joshua will finish him. Let's 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 talk is cheap. I keep saying it. Okay. Joshua. Okay. Then, yeah. 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 Some people actually feel that it's going to be a wider fight. This guy is not talking from the patriotic angle. No, I'm not talking from the angle. Actually, I'm not even talking from. So you you think you think on a good day it's going to be Joshua? Yeah, it's Joshua versus Wilder. Talk, then the last guy that talked and backed it up in, in boxing was Mike one of Tyson. a kind, was Tyson. Yeah. And I keep saying it, why Tyson was one of a kind. Yeah. Like, that, that was the last guy you remember. And why that is not yeah, Tyson. Yeah, it's not, it's not, yeah. it's not close to Tyson. It's not close to Tyson. That All right, so bad. Nigeria as well will be close to getting, um, they are getting close to knowing their um, opponents at, at, at the World Cup, the qualifiers for the World Cup, of course, which will be happening in um, January 21st. That's, of course, in the new year. And remember that the World Cup will be holding in Qatar in year 2022. Remember, that's the second round of the qualifiers. And finally, before we go for our big issue, uh, Formula One, the second greatest behind uh, Michael Schumacher, maybe, maybe modern day greatest, if you like to call him, Lewis Hamilton. Well, is uh, we can confirm that Ferrari has admitted that they have entered talks with Lewis Hamilton <laughs> and for what it's going to be 40 million. Yeah. Um, I think I'm in the wrong profession. Uh, I think it's the right time I want to go and learn how to drive down. See, I'm not in the wrong maybe. profession because for maybe. 40 million, remember something, it's yeah. somebody that's going to pay him that salary. Very true. So when people talk Very about true. Neymar's money, Mbappe's money, I'm like, one person is somebody paying, paying that money. I want to be that guy paying, yeah. paying that yeah. money. Yeah. Yeah. 40, yeah. Somebody that is coughing that money Absolutely. out and saying, so, oh, so Ferrari is saying that um, yeah. 40 million pounds for Louis Hamilton. Louis Hamilton will get into the end of his contract with um, a Mercedes Benz in 2020, and so by 2021 is most likely. It's probable yeah. so, that we see um, Ferrari. Sign on Lewis Hamilton, but that would be a guys that would be a very, yeah. very huge deal for everybody. In fact, let me start with um, you. The, the objective of Mercedes um, is to have um, a German driver in a German car, an Italian driver in an Italian car. Unfortunately, Ferrari will not be having that um, because it's Lewis Hamilton that will be coming. Mm -hmm. However, um, my, 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 my take in all of this is that I hope um, Lewis Hamilton knows what he's getting into. 
under Renault have not been able to solve the engine issue of Ferrari. So he goes to join them and one week on, he, he performs very well. Next week he's having an engine issue. No even for being a temperamental driver. I hope he won't end up fighting this thing. Uh, well, that's very, very likely. I mean, you know, what do you think? The most amazing thing is the next 30 years, we're going to see a, a good movie, Mercedes versus Ferrari. Yeah. You know, they just did the one Ford versus Ferrari. But other than that, you know, I'm eating, it's, it's for me, I, I, I'm looking at it from a financial decision. Guys, is this, is, let me just ask you, I'm sorry to caution you, very rude, but I'm sorry. Is it, a, is, it, is it a driving, is it a car, or is it a driver? What, what really sounds out in a Formula 1 race? Um, the car, um, the person driving, or the driving itself? Is, it, is the driver and the car for me, you know? Is the driver mm. and the car? Uh, yeah. Is I the driver and the car? A lot of people have said that um, um, the engine and all that, but you need a fantastic yeah. driver is to the driver and the car. Because... If you look at Femi from Yanopaja or oh, let's see <laughs> Baba, Baba, Baba Salah from Megbeda Park <laughs> that drives the Dafo, those guys where they drive. Imagine you give those guys in Ferrari or Bears. Those, <laughs> those guys will dust everybody. True. Let's not lie, man. It's the driver and the car. True. Because those guys get skills. True. Mm -hmm. In all fairness, guys, we don't know any Baba Salah in Megbeda. <laughs> And we don't know any Femi and Okbaja. <laughs> but the bottom line is, I think I want to second what my guys have said. I think it's a bit of, a yeah. bit of everything. Yeah, the driver yeah, 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 yeah. Even the, the person driving behind the, the cameras as well. And the pit stop and, and remember all. what happened to Nico Rosberg. Yeah. And when Nico, when um, Hamilton's team was given to Nico mm. Rosberg, and yeah. Nico Rosberg's team was given to Hamilton, yeah. Hamilton finished second. Yeah. So it's to tell you that True. it's a mixture of everything. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I mean, a bit of this, a bit of that. And that's what we've had so far. Um, on the conversation so far today. A bit of athletics, a bit of Formula 1, a bit of boxing, a bit of football as well, and a bit of UEFA Champions League. Now we want to go into something that is not a bit, but a whole. It is the conversation of the um, hot topic on all sports today. And we'll go for a quick break, and when we return, it's time for me to tell you what it is where you're going to be talking about. And meanwhile, please, I need you to take out your mobile phone to text us and let us know what exactly is on your mind as you got what we have discussed so far and what we'll be discussing very, very shortly. Go nowhere not. We'll be right back. Thank you for joining us at this time. So we continue our conversation. And what we're asking this morning is, should club sides go for institutional football managers or should they go for former players who are now turned managers. Um, I got Dari Ogun and, um, and you know it being again. And you know we'll be going for his um, thesis first. Like they say, experience is the best teacher. So mm. I'll say it's good for former players to, to, to be managers, you know. It's mm. good for club sides, good for, for them as their first option because you need the experience. That's all you need. What is this mantra going on in football nowadays? I mean, players becoming coaches just because they've played the game before. We have experienced managers who have gone through the ranks, started from the cradle to achieve what they have at the moment. And I think they still remain the best when it comes to managerial post ahead of any ex-player, irrespective of what is won in the past. Gentlemen, we are right into it. Let me start with you and you know, because you're, you know, come back from a long break. So yeah, go ahead. <laughs> My opponent doesn't sound convinced to what he just said. Mm. <laughs> because, yeah, what I'm saying is because obviously you need, you need experience is the best teacher. That's why I said, you know, mm. so clubs going after ex players who are now coaches now because, like you said, they went through the ranks. Those guys too went through the ranks. Okay. To be a coach is not because you played the game, mm. you have to go through the coaching class mm. and everything. You get your certification. That's the thing. Mm. Now, but every great manager in the world, look at them. They were all ex footballers. Mm. So, the likes of Ferguson, um, the likes of Van, um, Van Gaal, mm. the likes of Gusidik, mm. even, even our professor, as a Wenger. Mm. This guy's played the game. Uh, mm -hmm. I, 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 I'm, the I'm, game. Sure, I'm sure you remember what we used to say about being the best today, not necessarily being the best teacher. Okay. And that is the case that we are talking yeah, about you're here. Right, you're Players, right. play, you might end up being the best player going through the ranks, academics, and we are talking about coaches who have gone through the see, ranks. They've see, learned their see, trade, they've the, gone the, to the study how the, the game this, is. The thing about this and, and you know the thing about football is that it's all about philosophy. Philosophy does not grow on you when you are a player. Okay, so first, of all, on first of all, I'm on my Modric swag today. I'll tell people, cool okay. and calm, you know, I'm not going to rush. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, so, yeah. The what I'm saying is that the way the way the way ex players think of this game is okay. not the way institutionalized managers. You know the interesting thing? Every ex player is once taught now, by an institutionalized manager. And what that means is that well, for every achievement school, they have. Your coaching school, you know necessarily this for, for, see, for every see, achievement. Do you know, do you know the, the, teach, the teacher that teaches you about engineering necessarily might not be good in that field? Do you and, know and, that? and the best student you know about that? does not mean it's okay, the best teacher. Examples, sports analyst or sports policy, let's say like us now, like we are here now. 
Be when we go to coach, we might not necessarily be good at it. We are seeing these flaws because we are from here. We have like Mario told Gary Neville, you don't longer have post and play. Uh -huh. You might say it because from this angle, because but see the thing about this experience is what helps no, you. No, 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 no. Every let, single let, thing. Let, let, let's, let's let's look at it from this angle. Yeah. Mention players so far that have been excellent when it comes to taking up the job and have done fantastically well. I mean, the recent the greatest, of them all, we the greatest manager of all time is Pep Guardiola. Pep Guardiola, Fendi. Pep Guardiola, and Alex Fendi. Ferguson. These so, guys so, were ex players. No, you can't call. You These can't guys call, were ex players. You can't, you can't call Ferguson Luis an ex player. He was. You he played the every, game. Every, everyone will okay, somehow play the game. Everyone yeah, okay. will somehow play, play the but game. But he played. We are talking about noticed See, players. Players oh, that we so all know. So you are trying know. to say, say Pep Guardiola was because I played in Uzbekistan and I played football. So it's not relevant. Outside, outside Pep Guardiola, can you mention any? Let's just say that. I mean, I said not to also play the game. Then, then you can, we can all assume that every footballer is a coach. Is that what you are saying here? See, obviously, everyone will play the game. A lot of ex. See, see, let me explain to you. Like I said game. to you, see, we are talking of a lot of things. Gentlemen, please, please, please hold on. So, so they even do well with see, similar. So, so, so let's understand something. Um, we need to have it. I mean, it's a good conversation. Yeah, yeah. But we need to have. But let, let, we need to have a direction. Okay. So, um, let me ask you this: something, Dari. Mm -hmm. You know, you get to you get to reply. When a football team is set up, when you want to impose philosophies, um, isn't it just a player who has somebody who has played the game, who knows the game? And then understand his own philosophy and impact it. I think that's the job of who exactly a player, I a think coach. So, you, you know the thing about this is mm. that most players think because they've played the game before, they've been in the dressing room, mm. they are very good in managing players. So that means we automatically seen, see, they will be a good coach. They, that doesn't mean they will be a good coach. Okay. What okay. that simply means is that okay. because they've played the game, they will be a good member of the board, not necessarily as a coach. Now, look at this. Thierry Henry was fantastic and all that as a player. He took up the Monaco job and he mm. flopped. Clarence Studio was another example as well, with, both with Cameron as well as even with the AC Milan job. Okay. He flopped it as well. Henry Inzaghi Henry as well is another manager When as you well. call bad, call positive. Inzaghi as, see, Inzaghi as see, well. This is your saying. 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 Being more than the negative. Okay. Before you okay. say this now, is good to go. Now let's look, and, and let's look at the Premier League. Here. Let's look at the, the Premier good, League. The good, let's let's look at the Premier League. Okay. In the last twenty years, the Dari. managers okay. that have won the Premier League, okay. mm -hmm. like three or four, have played the game. Let's not lie to ourselves. They True. all played the game. If if three they out of if three out of twenty have won the game, played the game, mm. then what are we talking about? No, they don't have twenty. They won the league. Won, 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 won because Fernandez won, won it like six times. Yeah. Um. 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 Man City won it. Yeah. Man City won it. Guardiola won it. Alright, so. Guys, but if we say um, philosophies and learning values of the game, then what do they do in coaching school? I'm just asking. Ex okay. I mean, there's a coaching Babaji, school at the end of Babaji, the day where, no. where regular people, for example, Jürgen Klopp didn't have a fantastic playing career. Yeah. Okay, but he went to a coaching school and then he got, he got licensed and then he got the Europe, the UEFA A, the UEFA mm -hmm. B, and now he is where he is today. See, Babaji, that's what I mean, that's, 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 that's what that's what I want to explain to you that experience is the best teacher in this okay. life. Okay. Now let's take it. You know, let's let's leave football and so let's go to like music. You mm -hmm. look at producers, composers. There's music school. There are guys who go to music school. There are guys who teach you in music school. Mm. But you, that the graduate that you've left there, you become a better musician out of them. True. Those guys, True. They, they might not even be able to compose music better agree. than See, you. What, what, so what, the fact what, that what the fa an institutionalized manager offers mm. you okay. is that um, they learn from the they learn from the they learn from book they, le they, they, they learn from the book. The book. You're talking about they, somebody say, that learned from look, the field. Look, look, mm. look. What, what with the book? The, ex the first they experience with the book. No, the no, 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 no. Okay. The first experience of every of every player turning coach is with an. And, and it is with a manager. Okay. A manager who has a point was See, had never played the, the game. The, the, One. Two, the second experience that we have, or what they, they, they think they have, mm. is probably because they've played the game before, which is not good, they know, because they didn't know the A's and B's of coaching. What's the, they went to coaching. Yeah. You have to, wait, wait, know, I think see, that is getting see, it wrong. No, no, no. Okay. See, you are thinking, wait, see, the way you are, you are, you are misleading they, our they, viewers. No, no, no. You are misleading them. No, no, no. Do you know why? They, they have the past. Most of them have the past easily because they played the game before, not because they earn it. We are talking about a great. See, we are talking about. See, see, see. Wait, 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 wait. Right, so, a, a so, Carlo so, Ancelotti yeah. started with Regina. 
This is what we are talking about okay. here. You can't say the same of the same Filippo, Filippo in Zagreb that just took a job and went to AC Milan. Is that what we're talking about? Where did start from? It started the with Conte Siena. Conte start from the bottom. It started... And, 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 Conte is an ex player. How many of those ex players can you say that about? I didn't mention Antonio Conte. And Conte, see, how many of those ex players can you say that about? Should I tell you for free that now in football, one of the best tacticians in football, as far as boy is concerned, is Conte. And Antonio Conte couldn't even get beyond the group stage of the Champions League. Fergus Sink has crashed out of the group stage of the Champions League. Please let's forget about that. That's why. And how many times has he got? How many times has he gotten to the quarter final of the Champions League? Never. Never. Wait. The same Conte you talked about. How many? How many? Conte has never. All right. So, gentlemen. Okay. Yeah. Let me just give you guys round time to round. Maybe thirty seconds each, and then and then that'll be that'll be your final thoughts. See. You know, start to cut all these stories from long to short and short and shorter. Yeah. Experience is the best teacher. You can't compare a guy that has gone to the coaching school and has played this game. Imagine when you're 22 in football, it's a different way you see it when you're 30 in football. Mm. Over time, you don't rush. That's why I said, why I said Modric Swag is, Modric Swag is because I look at, look at Modric the way he plays now. He has so much experience. Okay. Now, imagine he now he retires, he channels that to coaching. I'm saying it here, Modric, let's count this mm. in the next one here. If Modric is ever going to become a coach, he's going to be a good coach. Not just because, oh, he went to the school. Also, but see, experience, you can't beat experience. That's one thing in okay. life. You can't okay. beat it. All right, then. Dari, please. Um, interesting now you see um, my, my colleague here talked, and all he could mention is they've played the game before. What happens to those that have been in the game? Those that saw this play aggro? I mean, when you are a player, all you could actually see is what you are in, what you are doing. Mm -hmm. But as a coach, it's not just what you are doing. It's what the players <laughs> themselves are doing. It's and it's most of the time, these ex-players hardly see that. They see themselves alone. And they don't start from the credo as a coach. But they most of the time start as a player. But there's a player. See themselves as a player. Yeah, there's a player that feel their coaches can't coach. You see? That is the place. That's actually quite funny. But you all right, guys. This, 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 this Wait, wait, wait. This makes us. player is thinking his coach can't no, coach. Then when he gets to the because point of a coach, why would players think of He's playing the game, gentlemen. See, he's playing the game. Gentlemen. I think we need to have one, a little okay. bit of argument on his side. Okay. He's playing the game. Okay. Now, let's, let's take for example now. We know of, I don't want to call the club, yeah. that they, 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 the coach made a sub. Yeah. And the other players are like, how could you sub this guy? Even okay. we fans, let's not lie. We see some coaches, some, your True. same uh, institutionalized Coaches, uh, they you know, make you know, some errors that, they, that mm. we can clearly see that okay, this guy is playing well, they will solve that guy. Those players are looking like, why? Oh, well. are you this, doing these this? are angles, uh, all these angles will be, will be rolled, will be rolled into extra, my extra, final extra, whistle. Extra, 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 Guys, they still continue. Extra, we go for a quick break, we'll be right back. Okay, so we are back from what has been a remarkable uh, conversation uh, between uh, Dari and you know it's always going to be fire whenever these two guys are in the studio uh, yeah so I had a bit of water to drink and now my voice is back my final whistle these gentlemen have done a good job you know about um, um, the um, topic in front of them institutional manager uh, versus um, a ex ex footballer and I think uh, whatever way you look at it whatever angle of the divide that you are in you would have to agree with me that experience, in a way, counts. Um, either there are exceptions to the rules. Both of them, in the argument, were giving us examples of Antonio Conte, who, for me, really, I have to second what Eino said about one of the best statisticians right now in the game. But Dari was correct. The best statistician that is not even in the quarterfinals. But Eino made a very good counter by saying Alex Ferguson is one of the greatest managers alive ever. And guess what? He has also been crashed out and knocked out from the first um, group phase. Now, here's my thing. Some points, you go to coaching school. I mean, especially when you want to drive, you have to learn some basics about driving. Stop, those are the things you can get from a driving school. And those are the kind of things you can get from a coaching school. But in all of this, there is a bedrock of experience, you know, that comes in. But hey, guys, what do you think? How about you let us know by texting us, let us know what exactly is on your mind. Um, do you think it's an institutional manager versus an ex-footballer? That's where we drop the cutting on today's edition of World Sports. And as we look forward to the new year, uh, we hope you have the very best of life and living. Uh, but before we go, I have to say thank you to my guys in the studio. Dari, thank you so very much for coming. Thank you Mr. Consistency, much. thank you. The ex Mr. Consistency. You say we are your guys now. We are your guys are bullers. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah.
Nice. <laughs> nice. Yeah. So um, he just came back from paternity leave. You'll be going back shortly. But um, thank you very much, Aino, for coming around. Yeah, it's good. It's good to be back. It's Absolutely. My regards to um, Floyd. My regards to you and yours. Yes, you looking at me, you know, right there at home. We want to say thank you very much for being part of this production. Uh, from the beginning of this year, uh, when we opened our studios and up until now, as we count down to the end of the year, we hope and pray that your aspirations will not fail no falter. My name is Papa Chide Guerrero and I will see you again, God willing, next week Saturday when we bring to you a new freshly made edition of Old Sports. Till then, take care of yourself and look after each other. Bye for now.